Andy with Anglers All here with Dave Allen, uh, Patagonia rep for us here in uh, Colorado, and he's going to give us a quick rundown on some new products. Right on. Well, thanks for joining us here at the Denver Fly Fishing Show. We're going to talk about the new Stormfront series as well as the Foot Tracker boot. Uh, we updated the entire Stormfront uh, pack and luggage line just here in the last couple of months and made some really nice updates. Um, first and foremost is the Stormfront pack. All of this, the entire Stormfront line is still radio frequency welded, which is the strongest bond you can have uh, in a waterproof submersible fabric package. Some of the updates we made to the Stormfront line is we, uh, the previous iteration of this was, was kind of overbuilt. It was kind of bulky. So we really stripped it down quite a bit. We moved to a, a flat back panel construction. Uh, we uh, changed the exterior zip to a stretch pocket so it can be easily accessed for a passport or whatever if, you're, if you happen to be traveling. Um, a variety of other lashings uh, and we see uh, a lot of anglers using this in a, in a saltwater application. The, the zipper is a T-zip zipper, so it's non-corrosive. Um, and for a variety of other, other uh, just backcountry experiences, um, this piece also integrates into the convertible vest, which you can also get at Anglers All, which kind of makes it the ultimate one-day backcountry expedition, expedition pack vest uh, combo. Um, you can also get a backpack in the roll top, some of the updates, again, we, we stripped this pack down a little bit from the previous iteration, uh, went to a flat back panel construction, added an exterior um, cinch for a shell. Uh, we also updated the design and the access to this pack, so you can see it tapers out, which makes it a lot easier to get to the bottom of this pack. Uh, when we move to a roll top and away from the T-zip zipper, it cuts the price of this piece in half. So at the Stormfront pack, we're at $299, and then the roll top version, we dropped to $149, so half the price. Both of these you can get at Angler's All. And this piece, uh, as I mentioned, also integrates into that convertible vest as well. You mind if I hand that to you? Um, the most popular piece in this line is the sling. Uh, slings in general are, are becoming more and more popular these days. Uh, the main reason is it's the most comfortable to wear the bulk of the weight in the center of your back over the course of the day. Uh, when you do need to access uh, any of your boxes or your gear, unclip the lower strap and it just easily, simply slides underneath the armpit. Again, you get a T-zip zipper, which means this, anytime you have a T-zip zipper, this means it's waterproof submersible. We won't call anything waterproof submersible unless it has this zipper on it, meaning that we guarantee that this compartment will stay dry. A um, couple of updates to this piece, we added a couple drain holes in the second exterior pocket and a couple of lashings to be able to hold on to uh, that piece while you're opening and closing that T-zip zipper, which can get a little bit sticky, which it's designed to do to keep everything dry. Um, and so we're at 219, or sorry, 229 on the, on the sling. Um, also a great saltwater option. And then finally, we've got the Stormfront hip pack, again, all radio frequency welded, T-zip zipper, flat back panel construction, added drain holes in the exterior, and we actually dropped the price on this. We actually used to be at 219, and we're down to 199 on the Stormfront hip pack. Um, again, a little bit less in the way of organization and structure, but for the purpose of, um, you know, traveling with any electronics, uh, expensive cameras, for example, too. We see a lot of uh, a lot of our photographers slash anglers moving to both the Stormfront hip pack and the sling, as well. Um, and then finally, we're going to touch on the foot tracker. So the foot tracker boot has been in the line for a couple of seasons now. Um, and this is a whole different animal. If you're um, a guy or a gal who is in need of a, a no-slip uh, traction system in your wading boot, um, whether you're starting to lose a little bit of um, independence or stability out on the river, or if young guys like Andy that are still super uh, wading super aggressively, um, this is the boot for you. You get five uh, soft aluminum bars mounted onto the sole of this boot. And the best analogy I've come up with, I grew up fishing in Kentucky and we fished in a lot of aluminum John, boot, John boats and canoes and anytime we hit a rock or pulled over you essentially had to peel that boat off the rock and the reason for it is that soft aluminum is biting around any irregularity in the river bottom. So that gives you literally a zero slippage traction system. This is the second generation of this boot and so some of the things we updated 
are we uh, went to a more of a lightning bolt shaped uh, bar, which prevents any lateral slippage. We recessed the bars into the sole of the boot. Um, we also recessed the hex heads a little bit deeper to not compromise the integrity of those hex heads. Um, and then updated the foam package and co complete construction of the upper. We do have re replacement bars as well. So if um, this bar, if the bars do wear down, they can be replaced for, for only $49. Um, this boot retails at, at $279, so it's a, a pricier boot, but when you start thinking about some of the higher end boots in the marketplace and you start talking about stud kits, which aren't, don't give you nearly the traction that an aluminum bar does, um, it's actually a pretty good deal. And if uh, staying upright is, a, is important to you, this is uh, certainly one to come to Angler's All and, and try a pair on.